Hey guys, Ryan123 here today, and today I'm here with another RPG tutorial. And today we are going to be doing the long awaited checkpoints tutorial. <laughs> now, I was actually debating whether to make this an RPG tutorial or just a normal tutorial, but we'll just call it an RPG tutorial, but give it our, some RPG aspects. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is if you haven't already, make sure in your leaderboard script that you have a checkpoint value saved somewhere whether it is inside the player or inside the stats value and shows up on the scoreboard um, they just need to have a checkpoint value in them somewhere so that it can save across deaths and save specifically to them and everything the next thing we're going to need to do is do the spawning so to make sure that they spawn at the proper checkpoint now you can do this in the leaderboard script I just find it easier to have a separate script but it will work if you just put this straight in the leaderboard script um, but anyways what I like to do is set it up like this so basically when a child is added to workspace we're going to call the player spawn function. We're going to wait a fraction of a second because if we don't, it doesn't work. So make sure you have at least some wait value in here. Um, and then it will check to see if what or what respawned or joined workspace is basically a player. And if it is, then it will get their player find their checkpoint stat. Now, if you have the checkpoint stat showing up on the scoreboard, you will need to do player, you will need to find their leader stats first, like, gosh, I can't type. Well, Basically, you just do this, but replace this with leader stats. You need to find their leader stats first, and then find the checkpoint value in their leader stats. Um, if you just if your lead if your checkpoint value is in the leader stats, and you just do it like this, it will never find it. But anyways, then it checks to see if the um, checkpoint stat is there, and if it is, this is just debugging for me. It will find the checkpoint with the corresponding value and it will basically just move the player there. Pretty simple. Now, um, just to show you that it works, in my leaderboard I have it set so that I will automatically spawn with the checkpoint value of 1. So instead of spawning in my original spawn, I will spawn at the first checkpoint and I will just show you that now see as you can see it kind of flashed over there but then I just teleported right over here um, I'm sure reducing the wait time will help that so you don't see that flash I haven't tried but you can mess around with that if you want next we have to set up the checkpoints themselves so you're just going to need numbered bricks um, if they have anything in the name Besides the number, the way we have this set up, it will not work. You just need like one, two, three, just for the corresponding checkpoint. And then, basically, it's just your simple untouched. These will act as spawn points, but you won't have your leaderboard full of like teams and anything. So, basically, what we're going to do here is first see if the thing that touched the spawn point is a player. If it is, it's going to get their player um, from the name of the model. And then it will find their checkpoints. Again, if your checkpoint value is in the leader stats, you will have to find the leader stats first and then look in there. And then it will check to see if that exists. And then it will check to see if the checkpoint value is one less than the name of the block. So for example, if we ch step on checkpoint 2, it will check to see if the player's checkpoint value is 1, because that is 1 less than 2. That's a lot of checks. Um, and then it will 
set the checkpoint value to the name of the block. It is set up this way so that you can just copy and paste this block as many times as you want and all you have to change is the name of the block. You don't have to change anything in the script once you've got this working. Now, if you want checkpoints to be more like spawn points where the player they aren't so much checkpoints as spawn points, then you will want to just get rid of this and you for example, let's say I have like, sorry, let me give you an example. Let's say I have like checkpoint two in like a elf village for my RPG, and then like I have checkpoint three in like a desert area. So if I want, I can have my player come into the elf village, and then they'll spawn there every time they die. And then when they come over to the desert village, they'll spawn there every time they die. But the way we have the checkpoints come working right now if they were to come back they could not access this checkpoint again because it is lower than their checkpoint value so what you'll have to do to fix that if you want them to be able to reuse a checkpoint is you'll just have to change this and just make this a not equal to and that's it it's really simple. If their checkpoint value isn't equal to the name of the block, then it will change it. It's just really simple. Just that one little change will help you out. Um, and so, yeah, really simple tutorial. I know you guys have been waiting for this one for a while. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to po post a comment with any suggestions you may have. And please subscribe for future videos. I hope you all have a very nice day. Goodbye.